Hello everyone, welcome to MS Deep Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to configure Device Guard using Device Configuration Profile in Microsoft Intune. Device Guard is a security feature for Windows devices designed to use application whitelisting and code integrity policies to protect users' devices from malicious code that could compromise the operating system. First, some information about Device Guard and Credential Guard. Both depend on virtualization-based security and are both using hypervisor code integrity drivers. Device Guard is a combination of security key features designed to secure and protect a computer system against malware. Its focus is on preventing malicious code from running by ensuring only allowed and known good code can run. Device Guard goes beyond Credential Guard by providing code integrity policies which prevent unauthorized code from running on our devices like malware or ransomware. Device Guard and Credential Guard are different but complementary as they offer different protections against different types of threats. It's worth noting here that these are enterprise features and as such are included only in the Windows Enterprise Client. Deploying Device Guard will significantly increase the security of your devices than when implementing Credential Guard. It's fine to implement Credential Guard now and Device Guard later if that works best for your organization. First, sign in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a Global Administrator or an Intune Service Administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. On home page, click on Devices. Under Policy, click on Configuration Profiles. Click on Create Profile Plus icon. Select Windows 10 and later Platform. Click on drop down arrow and select Settings Catalog. Click on Create. Provide a meaningful name for this profile. We have given name Taste Configure Device Guard Settings. We have also added a description, this device configuration profile will enable and configure device guard on targeted Windows devices. Click Next. On Configuration Settings page, click on Add Settings. On Settings Speaker window, click on Device Guard category. Select the setting which you want to enable. We will click on select all these settings to select all four settings. Close the setting speaker page. In this example, we are going to configure all these four settings. First, we have configure system guard launch. This policy setting allows the IT admin to configure the launch of a system guard. We will select unmanage enables a secure launch if supported by hardware. Next, we have Credential Guard settings. This setting let users turn on Credential Guard with virtualization-based security to help protect credentials. For this setting, we will select Enabled with UEFI Lock turns on Credential Guard with UEFI Lock. So for Credential Guard, we are selecting Enable with UEFI Lock to make sure that Credential Guard will be enabled and can't be disabled remotely. Next, we have Enable Virtualization-Based Security. This setting is used to turn on Virtualization-Based Security, also known as VBS. Virtualization-Based Security usage the Windows hypervisor to provide support for a security service. From drop-down, we will select Enable Virtualization-Based Security. 
Required platform security feature setting specify the platform security level. From the drop down, we will select a second option. Remember, Credential Guard usage Windows hypervisor to provide protections which requires secure boot and direct memory access protections to function which require hardware support. So on client computer, these settings will only successfully enable if the hardware requirements are met. Here we'll select second option. After configuring all these four settings, I'm going to click on next. On scope tags, we will go with default tag. Click on next. In the assignments page, I'm going to click on add groups. We have created one device group named lab client 03. We will use that group to target our test windows 10 devices. From the list, select lab client 03. Click on select. We have one device in our group lab client 03. Click next. Review the settings which we have configured for this device configuration profile. Click on create and wait for the confirmation message. We can see the confirmation message policy created successfully. Let me click on refresh to see the updated list. This is a policy test configure device guard settings. We have successfully created and assigned device configuration policy to our group lab client 03. Now to test the result, go back to our test windows 10 device. First, I'm going to open registry editor. Click on yes. Uh, go to HK local machine, software, policies, Microsoft and click on windows. Here under windows key, Check for the key with the name device guard. Do we have any key with that name? The answer is no. Since the device guard is not configured on this device, those rag entries are not created yet on our Windows 10 device. Close the registry editor. We will perform the manual synchronization with Intune. Click on sync. We need to wait for the sync process to finish. This Windows 10 device is member of our targeted device group Lab Client 03. So the policy which we have assigned to our group Lab Client 03 will apply on this Windows 10 device. As you can see, the last sync was successful. Now I'm going to restart this Windows 10 device. After restart, Sign in again to this Windows 10 device. Let me initiate the manual synchronization with Intune. Okay, last sync was successful. Let me close it. Let's again open RagEdit. Click on Yes. And this time, we can see we have new key named a device guard. All the required registry entries related to our device configuration profile are stored under the device guard policy key. We have total four reg entries. This means all the configured settings are applied successfully on our test Windows 10 device. We also want to confirm it from Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. But first, we want to perform the manual sync with Intune so the information will update in Intune portal. Let me click on info and click on sync to initiate the synchronization. We are performing the synchronization with Intune so we can see the updated information in Intune portal. Now let's go back to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. First of all, I'm going to click on refresh. Now click on our policy name. Succeeded for one device. Click on view report. We can see 
assignment succeeded for our test windows and device named labwin10 hyphen cli03 click on labwin10 hyphen cli03 on this page we can see the configured settings with the status we have all four settings with succeeded setting status so also from indian portal we can confirm that the device configuration profile for device guard is applied successfully on our windows 10 device in our test environment let's go back to our windows 10 device i'm going to open system information by running command ms info32 from run menu make sure you are on system summary let me scroll down and here we have settings which we need to see as you can see virtualization based security is running and here we have certain other information about virtualization based security option do make sure that credential guard is in running state for it to be fully operational we have credential guard for this virtualization based security service configured but not in a running state here we can see virtualization based security service running and we don't have credential guard why because we doesn't have supported hardware since we don't have supported hardware on our vm we can only show you the configuration not the result this video can gives you an idea about the configuration steps to enable device guard in windows devices if device guard is successfully enabled on your windows device then for this setting you will also see credential guard so that's all for this video on how to configure device guard setting using device configuration profile in microsoft indune thank you all for watching this video have a nice day